Hello preschool friends, happy Monday! Welcome to your daily story. Today it is Rory the Dinosaur, Me and My Dad by Liz Clemeau. And this is the same author and illustrator as Rory the Dinosaur Wants a Pet and Please Don't Eat Me. So, let's see. Oh look, and in the, in the cover here it tells us a little bit about the story. It says, I'm Rory. I love spending time with my dad. Oops. But today I'm going on my own adventure. I can't wait to tell him about the things I can do all by myself. So let's read about Rory's adventure. Here he is. He's got his little bag packed. This is Rory. There's two R's in his name. Rory lives on an island with his dad. He has a lot of energy. Sometimes too much. So here's his tree house. And then here's all the things Rory is doing. Look at all that paint. Oh my, hopefully he's outside. Rory's dad is really fun. Sometimes he takes Rory fishing or to go look for seashells. This seashell is talking back. He's saying, hello. Maybe it's a clam. Look how they're fishing. They didn't bring fishing poles. That looks like fun. Rory's dad also loves to read, but Rory thinks his dad's books are boring. So here he is. Do you see what he did to his dad's books? He colored in them. And it looks like he colored on the wall, too. And he's saying, I fixed all your books all by myself. I don't know. How do you think dad would feel about that? About Rory coloring in his books and coloring on the wall. Now, Rory's dad needs some quiet time. So he's in a hammock, and he has a book, and he's listening to music, and he has a sign that says, Do Not Disturb. Here's Rory. He's looking awfully bored down there. Everything is quiet. Too quiet. But Rory doesn't want to disturb his dad. Maybe I'll go on an adventure all by myself. So Rory makes his favorite sandwich, peanut butter, and chocolate chip, and packs a few of his favorite things. So the things he pack are his shark, his toothbrush, his yo-yo, and jelly beans. And then, of course, his peanut butter and chocolate chip sandwich. That sounds interesting. Here he is thinking about where he wants to go, too. I like that he's coloring on paper and writing on paper instead of his dad's books and on the wall. Soon he is on his way to find an adventure all by himself. And here he is, he says, I'm running away all by myself. But look, dad took a break from his quiet time and he's watching Rory. You think he feels worried? Rory walks and walks until he gets to a river, but he isn't allowed to swim without his dad. And he says, what am I going to do? Hmm, maybe he'll turn around and go home. Rory looks around for a way to cross, and when he's facing this way, look who slips into the water. Luckily, he notices some rocks he can use as steps, and he says, I can cross all by myself. He doesn't realize that's his dad. His dad is being sneaky. Rory walks some more and stops when he reaches the jungle. Suddenly, he sees a wild pig running right toward him. Rory is scared of wild pigs, but he wants to be brave. Roar! He lets out a big roar. But look who is hiding behind him. Do you think the pig is going to be scared of the little dinosaur or the big dinosaur? Because I think the pig is bigger than Rory. Oh, but it frightens the pig away. And Rory says, I scared it all by myself. After so much walking, it's time for lunch, but Rory forgot his coconut water. He says, Oh man, Dad usually packs my drink for me. Just as Rory considers skipping lunch, after all, a peanut butter and chocolate chip sandwich just isn't the same without a drink, a coconut falls from the tree above him and breaks in half. And he says, I found something to drink all by myself. But who actually knocked that coconut down? 
I think it was dad. He climbed up that palm tree. After lunch, it begins to rain. Rory looks everywhere for shelter, but he can't find anything to keep him dry. Suddenly, the rain stops right where he's standing. He tried to use a leaf for an umbrella. That didn't really work. He tried to use his hands. That didn't really work. He says, I found a dry spot all by myself. But look who's actually sheltering him from the rain. His dad is very sneaky. The storm passes and the sun comes out. A magnificent rainbow stretches across the sky. What an adventure he's been on, huh? Rory loves rainbows. His dad always helps him find one after the storm. He says, Dad, look, I found a rainbow all by myself. But then Rory remembers his dad isn't there. He's all the way back home. Look, Rory feels sad. He doesn't realize that his dad is right behind him. So Rory decides to run back and get him, so he retraces his step. He leaves the rainbow, goes by the palm tree again, goes past the warthog again, goes across the river, and back home. And look, his dad is sneaking the whole time with him and helped him cross the river again here. Rory tells his dad all about his journey. But I'll wait a while before I leave home again, Rory says. I don't want you to miss me too much. That sounds like a good plan, says Rory's dad. Together they head back to the treehouse. Look how dirty his dad got from helping Rory. He's got mud and sticks all over him. And together they dream of new adventures. I bet his dad was very tired after that. And look, this must be another thing his dad helped him to cross like a cliff almost. Two cliffs. He made a bridge out of his body. I think that Rory didn't really pay attention too much because I think I would notice if my giant dinosaur dad was following me around. But that's just me. All right, friends, I hope you enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I will read you another story tomorrow. Love and miss you guys.